if the fish doesn't understand that this pellet what you're putting is food, it will not eat it. Hi, I'm Rahul and welcome back to my channel. So this is a small series called Discuss Facts which I started some time back and I've made some videos already. If you want to check them out, links on top. So this video is going to be specific about what kind of food Discus like to eat. Food is something what every fish wants and every fish needs. The most important factor is uh, in any, I think in the hobby, I think we should understand that every fish has got different types of food requirements. When you're getting into specifics of a particular fish, there are a lot of specific fish foods which are available in the market and that's what we need to purchase. First and foremost thing uh, about discus behavior is discus is a bottom feeding fish. When we say bottom feeding, they like to come to the bottom and eat from the bottom. So they are not like fishes which go and take the pellets from top. They do some of them, but they prefer to eat from the bottom. So they are called bottom feeding fishes, which is a very, very important thing which we need to know. So if you see the good quality or branded fish foods for disc is what we get in the market like Hikari, Tropica, Sera and there are many more brands in the market. All of them specifically are sinking pellet. What is sinking pellet? Sinking pellet means it will sink. There are other varieties of pellets which you get floating pellets like Arowana likes the pellets on top. So her pellets are always floating and discus pellets are always sinking. So <laughs> that's the uh, two different types of pellets which are available in the market. So look for those kind of pellets which are discus specific and uh, that would actually help them. And the other major thing what discus uh, keepers always do or uh, feed is heart mix. So there are different types of heart mix that is goat heart mix, beef heart mix, turkey heart is there. Nowadays even chicken heart a lot of people are feeding. So these uh, heart mix are all again uh, frozen foods which again sinks down and uh, generally you've seen the disc is actually eating them from the bottom one another thing which uh, people all feed even i do feed my uh, fishes once in a while is uh, blood worms so i feed them sterilized uh, blood worms so which is again uh, which, uh, which comes down to the bottom and they like to feed on it from the bottom and uh, be very specific when blood worms i would not recommend feeding every day because it's very high protein so it takes some time for the fish to digest so give it some time i think weekly once is good enough like a good treat is uh, pretty good fourth variety the australian black worms is available which again uh, if you see because they love it so much they go and take it from the top but generally if you just stick it to the glass or press it and once it settles down is when discus love to uh, you know eat the australian black worms which is like a super duper treat but very very expensive my dear so these are the kind of foods uh, what we feed uh, discus generally but one more very very important thing which i would like to say uh, uh, is that i personally keep discus in uh, bare bottom tanks because because one of the major reasons is uh, because they are bottom feeding fishes and they are more comfortable uh, to eat their food uh, when it's a plain tank. But similarly, I mean, when it goes into a planted or a substrate based tank, uh, the there is a big huge possibility that most of the food is not eaten and uh, the food is remained in the tank and which causes bacterial infections over time. If Specifically, I'm saying again, if your filtration is not good or if your cleaning process is not good, if your water change uh, schedules are uh, very low, having a substrate or a planted aquarium for discus is going to be very difficult. There are beautiful tanks which are which you have seen on the internet or on YouTube, but they all have some amazing filtration. So be very careful in keeping discus because discus is a little bit of a sensitive kind of a fish. You all know that and that's one of the reasons why it is so beautiful and uh, so you need to be very careful when you keep them so don't let uh, food be uh, remaining in the tank if it's not eaten remove it out one way major important thing i think a lot of people have asked me this question that you know my fish i bought new fish they're not eating uh, I, I fed them this pellet i fed them this they're not eating so it's a very important thing we need to understand what the fish has been eating before right so if the fish doesn't understand that this pellet what you're putting is food, it will not eat it. So it's very, very important that we understand from where we buy our fish. So that's why I told most of my people uh, who follow my channel or who, who have messaged me earlier. I always tell them, please try and buy, uh, you know, fishes from a breeder uh, so that you know what the fishes have been eating uh, till it came to your house. Right. 
so there are a lot of people who are vegetarians who cannot feed uh, beef heart or uh, goat heart to their fishes so they can feed pellets also but you need to train your fish to understand that this pellet is also food if the fish is born and been eating only ghm or uh, heart mix it will not touch a pellet so that is something we need to understand before we get the fish so it's a very very important thing to understand where your fish is coming from and what it has been eating so i'm sure a lot of people buy uh, discus which are i think 2 to 3 inches size so it's almost about 4 to 6 months old so when it's a 6 month old fish and if it is eating something specific and you try to feed it pellets it doesn't know that it is food so you need to give it time understand from where you're buying uh, like that's one more reason i'm nothing against the shopkeepers but i would like to say that uh, a lot of shopkeepers don't know what they have been feeding the fishes they buy it from somewhere they keep it in the shop and then they sell it to people right so they are not looking at uh, the health of the fish or something i'm uh, again no offense to shopkeepers but i'm just saying when it comes to a specific fish like discus they are very picky eaters they are very specific and they take a lot of time to settle down and adjust to a new place uh, the new water parameters and so many other factors are there when you keep discus i'm sure you guys know but especially food right even if food if that doesn't uh, suit them like i've seen so many people who ask me this question like uh, i'm feeding pellets but the discus is not eating pellets your fishes are eating pellets i have trained my fishes that way because the fishes are born in my house they are used to eating everything because i from small i've been training them to eat that right not everybody does that because a lot of breeders feed them goat heart mix because they want the fish to be healthy and strong but if you cannot feed goat heart mix and force the fish to eat the only pellets it will not eat you need to give it time start with goat heart mix let the fish settle down then slowly start keeping in the keeping the fish in one day or two day fasting and then slowly start feeding pellets and then definitely the fish will learn and how to you know get to the you know you start eating pellets it's a slow process and this hobby you need to have a lot of patience it's not like you just get the fish today and it will start eating tomorrow you need to give it some time so be very uh, specific try to find out your uh, uh, what the fish has been eating before uh, before you get your fishes and then it will be much more easier for the fish also to settle and you are also stress free that's it for this video until our next video uh, stay tuned and the playlist for the other discuss fact videos will be coming up on screen do check it out and uh, until our next video bye bye